and welcome back to Music Free Gaming here on YouTube. I hope you're having a fabulous, fabulous Thursday. And uh, <clears throat> it's going to be a fun evening, I hope. Mm, excuse me, as I've got a little bit of a cough, which mostly comes from eating a couple of too many uh, Reese's Cups and the peanut butter is sticking in my throat. That Fortunately, I have a Music Free Gaming water bottle here full of water, which may or may not help the situation. In any case, I'm going to be uh, <clears throat> checking out the snapshot that dropped yesterday. This is, what are we on, 23 dot something or other? <laughs> um, but Cherry Blossoms just dropped, so let's uh, jump over to the game. <clears throat> and we're going to explore a few of the new features out here. Just because I kind of want to see what they're going to be like. Uh, but before I get into looking, I had, <laughs> this is funny. So one of the things I'm going to check out here today is archaeology, right? That's one of the new, new things that they've added. Well, I showed up here at this temple, paused the game so I can go do, get stuff set up for stream and that type of thing. And when I unpaused, I suddenly heard all sorts of explosions. Well, it turns out, here, let me jump into uh, spectator mode for a moment. Turns out, I don't know what happened here, but it triggered the trap at the bottom of the temple. Um, <laughs> it's like, okay, well, that that's definitely a thing that's happened, so... Like okay, that that's fine. I was a little shocked. Anyway, so first thing I want to do is say archaeology. So let's grab some torches, and yes, we'll play with those torch flowers here in just a minute. But let's, uh, what I want to do is I want to open this place up here just a little bit there's a there's supposed to be a ah yeah a hidden room somewhere around here i think or maybe not i don't know but you know let's there we go one of these things if i i'm, I'm missing mini hud right now i'll tell you um one of these shows me the blo ah sandstone sand okay so yeah in theory there's a there's a new block out here called suspicious sand now it's very possible that uh, whatever just happened blew that thing to kingdom come and uh, that's not ideal I'll tell you. Here, let's, I wonder if I could find it this way. So let's, let's jump into spectator here, see if I can find it. Because, yeah, there's supposed to be, like, or typically somewhere around here, you like said a, I'm, I'm told there's like some suspicious sand or something, but I'm not really seeing it. Maybe it was something that, blew up with the temple, but I am, I'm actually very, very confused. Because, yeah, that's sandstone. Yeah, I have no idea what happened. That was, uh, all right, let's, let's see here. Now, there should be, it's like somewhere out here. Ah, all right. Well, because that's the thing. First up, archaeology. Uh, find the suspicious sand. Unfortunately, it is like nowhere to be found. So let's. Uh, there's a well over here. Let's go check out this well, because this is the other place suspicious sand is supposed to show up now. What I don't know is what this thing is supposed to look like. Oops. 
No, I want to be in creative and I want to come on, F3. Oh, that's a that's a dead bush. Okay. Now I'm hoping <laughs> it's supposed to be out here, right? Um assuming this actually the world generated the way I think it's supposed to. If not, I may have to uh dig out something here later too, but Rabbit spawnable on. There's something I had not seen before. Yeah, it makes me... Now, oh, right. It actually shows up. Ah! There it is. There's some suspicious sand. Let's grab a sponge. Okay. Grab a sponge. We'll just soak all that water up. So, yes. So, all right. So here is your suspicious sand, and you can see it looks a little bit different from regular sand. It's got this funky texture to it, which is kind of cool. All right, so let's get a brush. Now I may have to uh, drop into survival to do this. So let's go ahead and do that, survival. Now, in theory, yeah. There we go. We can just sort of sweep this away. And what did I get? I got a brick. Oh, lovely. Oh, what's this? And a stew. I'm not sure I'd want a stew that's been buried in the sand for thousands of years. That just seems really uncomfortable. And an emerald. All right. Well, this is not the most exciting... Uh, not the most exciting sand in the world, but oh hey, <laughs> I'm not in survival anymore or in creative anymore. Let's uh, solve. Let's solve this by getting in the right mode. But hey, that's uh, okay. That's interesting. But see, that's how this whole thing works. You just you can find the sus the suspicious sand in the wells, and in theory, you can find them over here at the pyramids. Though I'm not not sure I actually found anything. On the other hand, I did just apparently blow up half the temple. So, or at least all of the, the trap at the bottom. Somehow. And uh, for all I know, a rabbit spawned in there. I don't know. But, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, maybe I'll take a look around and see what else is there. But that's how the archaeology works, right? And apparently you can get... Ooh, here's another one. Apparently, uh, you can get a couple of things here, including uh, sniffer eggs, which will be interesting to check out. Uh, though I don't know that they're actually available yet. Oops, sticks. <clears throat> yeah, now this is fun too. Yeah, if you pause mid brush, whatever you were brushing eventually just sinks back into the sand. And it looks like, oh yes. All right. So now here is a pottery sh pottery shard. Okay, cool. So the pot pottery shards I guess you can throw on a crafting table with some bricks or other shards and create Pottery. So if you like doing pottery and stuff, you know, now you're set. I guess these different, there are like four different designs. And I think this one maybe is only available, excuse me, only available in the the wells, I guess. So, so that's cool. All right, well then, um, let's see. Let's take a quick gander. I was hoping, so I think that temple managed to uh, be a dud, but do a quick search. Let's, uh, yeah, can I find another one? 
Oh, no, I, I'd have to teleport out. It's going to find the closest one, which I was just at. Okay, but the... Uh, so the archaeology stuff exists. It's definitely a thing. Um, and yeah, in theory, that's going to be the way we we can find sniffer eggs is through uh, through all the archaeological stuff. Now the um, the release notes were interesting because I said the sniffer is going to be the first or one of the ancient mobs coming. So I think they've got some more things planned. Ah, this one. Yeah, so I think they've got some more things planned than uh, what we've seen, but. Okay, so there's another pottery shard. And oh, more soup, cool. Ah, jump boost. Convenient. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. I don't need the soup. All right. Fun. Fun, fun. So, let's take a quick look. Looks like that's the end of this uh, particular desert range. Uh, I want to come here for a minute. Let's grab a crafting table here real quick. Now, okay, and also, I think, I th I'm fairly certain, yeah, the pottery shards, see, these are all the shards, right? So, you've got uh, a bunch of these. I actually should have kept that brick, but that's fine. I can go grab it again, because, you know, it's not like there are 80,000 different types of bricks here. All right. So the idea is you come to a crafting table and you can... What is it? The... Um... Yeah, see, and it's, it's fun. It doesn't show up in the crafting grid either. But you can apply these in any way you want, including having a blank side with just a brick. I wonder, can you just... Do a brick? Oh yeah, you can just do a plain pot as well. Huh, fun. But yeah, so you can just craft up yourself whatever uh, pottery here you want. Okay. Nice, and just depending on how you place it down, um, the pattern is gonna is determined by how you place things on in the crafting table. Right? So and you can update it, so I, th I think. No, you can't update it. Okay. Cool. But it's definitely there. So it's a nice little decorative item. Customize this however you want to, which is kind of cool. What do we have? We've got a looks like a skeleton face. Got the bow and arrow, got the arms raised, and the diamond. So this could be a fun little bit of decor if you're looking for that sort of thing. Um You know, I'm not the the decorative type, but you know, I, I think this is kind of nice. All right, I do want to, let's see. I'm actually curious. I grab a flower. Yeah, okay. It doesn't work like a like pottery or like a pot. Right, a flower pot. So okay. Nice. So that's fun and exciting. Now, I gotta tell you, with my own style of gameplay, this is not something I'm gonna be dealing with much, okay? I'm not the explorer type. I'm not going out hunting for desert pyramids and wells and all that stuff to dig up artifacts, okay? That's just not how I play. But this is, I think they said, this is how you're going to be able to get 
sniffer eggs, which I am going to want because sniffers are kind of cool. So let's jump to a biome here. Let's and let's find ourselves a nice cherry grove. All right. Now let's just hello. Either Minecraft froze or I am stuck. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, oops, not survival mode. That would be bad. Spectator mode. Let's get out of here. Okay, it, it teleported me deep underground. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> All right. So this... This is your cherry blossom or your cherry grove. Now, from what I understand from the release notes, um, these are going to fill the same niche as meadows. So you'll see them in, in the same places roughly, which is actually kind of fun. Looks like we've got a... Oh, this is kind of fun. Looks like we have... Is this a flower forest over here? Come here, biome. He's a biome. Oh yeah, this, so we've got a flower forest right across the cliff or a, a nice uh, river from a cherry grove. Oh, fun. So if you were all about the, uh, the dyes and stuff, this would be the place to go. Oh, and check this out. So... These, oh, this has got an interesting uh, canyon in it, too. All right, so yeah, this is a, this is a lovely little place. Now, the, the cherry biomes, or cherry groves, what do they do? They've got, obviously, the new cherry wood, which we'll play with here in a minute, which is really what I'm going to spend most of the time on. But the the cherry groves are flowery places. So you're going to get a lot of bees. Apparently a lot of sheep. <laughs> and uh, I think they said there was something else that was going to happen. All right. Now I'm just kind of curious what's down here. Aside from all sorts of monsters. Okay. Well, that's just a deep hole. Cool. All right. So let's meander back up here. And, oh, that's kind of fun. You got the nice, the, the cherry blossom coming down over this way. Also rabbits. Cool. Hey, dude. You want to, like, go that way? There you go. You feel better about life? This rabbit is seriously confused. It's like, hi, I'm just going to sit here and bounce. It's like a tigger, but less stripity. I, I don't know what's wrong with this poor guy. Definitely be, seems to be having a moment. But, all right, but anyway, so he's here. Now, what I want to do here is I want to come down this way and let's get filed on, you know what? I could just search for it. Sniffer egg, cool. Let's get ourselves some sniffers because I, we got to see what these guys look like, right? What was that? Okay. Definitely sniffy sniffy. They are six-legged, which is... Okay. Okay, th these things... <laughs> I'm sorry, did I not shower today? Is that what the problem is? You know, we got... Just sitting here sniffing my armpits. Maybe he just likes the smell of my deodorant. I don't know. 
What do you think? Am I good? Do I use a good mm. flavor of soap? That was a weird sound. Okay, cool. Anyway, um, so, yeah, so now what's fun is these guys, as they sniff around, are supposed to find, uh, su supposed to find some special seeds, right? Spe seeds of special flowers. Okay, you're not gonna go drop down there, right? <laughs> that would be that would be a little silly. Ah, oh, these are cool. Now notice how these flowers are sitting here. So pink petals, right? So now what happens as these I guess as these fall, let's clear out a couple of these here. Right, we've got all of this, uh, all of this going on. And I think underneath these trees, yeah, I think underneath these trees as the petals fall, maybe? Do they generate more? I don't know for sure. I'll tell you what, let's leave this space blank and find out. But I do know that as you place these guys, right, it it places, this is like candles or like, um, oh, sea pickles or, or the like, where you, the more you add to it, the more it fills in the space. But they're all, it's also directional, so, right? Now, how it fills in is always the same, but where it starts is going to depend on how you place things. Now, I remember uh, good time was good times with Scar complaining about flowers that didn't cover the whole block. Well, here we go. Now we have flowers that cover the whole block. But this is the the really cool stuff here, right? So let's. Uh, Clear out some of my inventory space for a minute. And let's jump over here to the cherry. And I want to grab... Oh, I guess I don't really need the stripped wood, but... Let's check out a couple of these. Right? Obviously, there are the logs. Right? And they're... Uh, they've actually got a really cool look to them. It's a really deep, it's really deep pink, almost purple, which is kind of cool. And then once they're stripped, you get this darker pink color, which is kind of cool. And then the, and then there's what the planks look like. All right, that's fun. So let's, uh, let's grab some you can also get them in boat varieties if you're all into that. Oh, and here's what the saplings look like, right? All right, so there's a cherry sapling, which is cool. They also can be potted, which actually looks really cool, right? So if you take a flower pot. Yeah, see, those are, those are really nice saplings for uh, pots. I like that. That is cool. Oh! Oh, check that action out! Looks like he found something. That was a weird sound, dude. But I'll go with it. Alright, so what we've got now are the torch flower seeds. All right, now torch flower seeds are how you get the new torch flowers. This is the the new unique way of, or the new unique flower, and the only way to get them is for those guys 
I keep wanting to zoom in. It's for these guys to find them. Um, it's also how you breed them. Right, so if you have a couple of torch flowers and a couple of uh, sniffers, you can get more sniffers. Okay, that just sounded like he had too much Taco Bell. I'm not entirely sure I'm comfortable with the sounds you're making here, dude. Just saying. Just saying, I think maybe um, you need like gas X or something. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, so we've got a couple of other things, right? We've got doors. Yep, which are very pink. Trap doors. Which, uh, again, also very pink. Which is the whole point behind this wood. It's, it's a whole lot of pink. If you've been dreaming about that Barbie house you've always wanted. Well, here you go. Oh, I'm curious, actually. Let's, um... Let's take a look. So... We've got the pink concrete and the pink terracotta. How does this look next to these blocks, right? So there's the terracotta. Okay, that's cool. And then the concrete, which is really bright next to it. <laughs> and I guess just for um, compare, oops, crimson starts with a C. Yeah, so let's grab some of this crimson. And I don't need this stuff. I mean, I could keep it around, I suppose, but... Right? So... Boy, that really makes this terracotta look brown, doesn't it? Which, I guess the terracotta is supposed to have a little, some shades of brown or something in it, but... But that's, if you were looking for pastels, this is definitely the way to do it. Um, also, hey, something to keep in mind. Remember, we're getting two, we're getting two new wood blocks in this update. Because we're also getting bamboo. Right? So, I don't know that those look good together. <laughs> let's let's grab some uh, let's grab some of the uh, bamboo blocks. I'm curious because these have that lighter green texture to them. Huh. That's that's actually not a bad texture. I mean, I don't like the yellow with it, but the green next to it actually looks kind of cool. That makes for a really interesting palette. All right, nice. Okay, so I think what we need to do to really play with this is let's uh, let's build something and apparently knock out holes in the wall. <laughs> uh, this is a really pretty biome, though. It is... This is really cool. It's funny. I was, uh, I was hanging out in, uh, probably Mandolin's community and mentioned, Hey, I, I saw this short that announced this. It's like, Hey, do you like pink? And the squeeze of delight from some of the, uh, people in that community were pretty, <laughs> pretty fun. All right. So let's find a nice place right over here. I think here. Maybe around this way. I, I want to find a place with a little bit more room. Because um, I don't want to... I want to play here, but I don't want to take down too many of the trees. Ah, oh, okay. Cool, this will work. Now... Yeah. Cows, pigs, you know, all that good stuff. Is this... A, am I actually in a sunflower plains? Seriously! This, this spot right here, you've got a flower forest, 
a sunflower plains and a cherry grove man if you were wanting flowers this would be the place to be here for those of you who want to know there's the seed okay i'll uh if i remember i'll try to post that in the video description when this goes live but or uh, yeah yeah when the vod goes up but Wow. All right, cool. Nice. So, this is something, man. Oh, I'd love to. Can't, actually, I, I really want this to come to my world, but given that I'm not playing vanilla right now, I'm playing, uh, I mean, like right now I'm playing vanilla, but I'm spending all my time in Create Mod right now. That's a. A little bit of a uh, problem. Ah, but first, let's grab some water. Because I do want to show you how this this works here, too. These dragon, or these torch flower seeds, right? So let's grab a, grab a hoe. Okay, it, it that's less exciting when you just grab one out of the creative inventory. All right, so just throw some water in there. Now, all right, so now we'll just clear this and we'll plant these. Now, I guess what you can do is these are just like any other plants. Um, you can bone meal them. And yes, you do have to plant them on, on farmland, right? I'm can't place them here on the grass. They have to go on farmland. But they've got a couple of growth states. They've got freshly planted, middle state, and then fully grown. Okay. And that's just, that's just how they grow. And sometimes it takes a couple of bone meal for them to pop up. Other times they pop up pretty quick. So, yeah, that's, unfortunately, you can't, they don't, if you break these, right, if I come back here into survival, and I break this, it just pops, and the only thing I can craft with it is orange dye, right, I can't get seeds or anything from this, the only way to get these plants is to get your sniffer out there, and it, enjoying the uh, the smells of the world. Now, for those of you who are curious, Ill Mango already has a farm out for these things, um, and uh, Raiseworks has a farm for the for these uh, uh, for these things, the cherry blossoms, which you can if you want to. Let's see. Um, dude, where did you flop? I hear you flopping loudly. Well, he sounds like he's close, but I have no idea where he is, man. That was a loud flop. And for a dude with that much base, um, you'd think it'd be fairly easy to see, right? Right, right? Oh, yeah, there he is. Holy cow, I heard him from way the heck over there. Hi. Yeah, you, you flopped down and... He was definitely searching. Now... Huh, that's tremendous. That was tremendously loud. He was all the way over there, and I heard him flop down to find some find some new flowers. That's pretty intense. I guess I want to be sure you know that it's coming. All right, well, let's let's try building something here. I want to try. 
let's grab a couple things. I want to grab some polished blackstone brick. And let's grab some... Let's grab some deep slate. I'm always a fan of deep slate. And then, of course, uh, we've got some of these strip logs. Now, I want to take a look here because this looks... This could be kind of fun, right? So let's just pull up. Right, so we've got the deep slate. We've got the blackstone here. And what if I were to slap a little of the... Ooh. That looks nice. Especially with the... Actually, it looks nice with both of them. Ooh. Hang on. Clear. Game rule. Do. Weather cycle. False. There we go. We'll turn off the weather. I also have the uh, daylight cycle turned off. So if you're wondering, why isn't it becoming night? Well, that's why. So. All right. I think... I think we need to uh, start playing with this a little bit because I like this. Yeah, I like this. Let's just, uh, I want to come over here for a minute. What I want to do is let's lay down a pallet because I want to use, I want to use those. Um, go ahead, add some, some of the cherry blossom. But, again, because it exists, <clears throat> let's grab some bamboo as well. Now, I said I don't think the bamboo is going to work as well, but... Uh, oh, yeah, I was, as I was saying before, I was interrupted by the, the sniffer clomping on the floor. Um, the, uh, these guys, you can just bone meal them. Right, so if you find some, you bring some back. You bone meal them, and they just go nuts. So your basic um, glow lichen farm will pretty well work on this stuff too, right? So if you're uh, all excited about getting more of this, and this stuff becomes, uh, let's grab a crafting table. Right, the, this stuff just can become pink dye. Um, it's a little bit easier to just get it from, potentially just get it from the two tall flowers. But yeah, this works. Hey, Massus, welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Great to see you here. So we're checking out the uh, latest Minecraft snapshot. Okay. So I think, let's go ahead and play with these a little bit. Let's just build something and just see what fun stuff we can come up with. Also, hey, because we've got it, and I clicked the wrong thing. Let's grab some of this. Uh, oh, I've already got some. <laughs> I already have some of this. Uh, these cherry logs. Yep. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so that gives that, that sort of deep, sort of a deep purple, which I'm not sure goes with the deep slate. But it's not bad. Let's just shift things around a little bit. It's not bad with the blackstone, actually. So I think the deep slate sort of clashes with it a little bit. Which is a little weird to say. But I think the blackstone with this uh, with this log. Ooh, I like that combination. That That's really cool. All right, so let's... Uh, Build ourselves a nice little, nice little house or something here, just to, just to play with some of these new blocks. And uh, you know what? Where did that sniffer go? Is he still hanging around up there? Probably. He's having a grand old time. Somewhere on top of that hill. <laughs> All right, cool. So, I really like. 
there's a couple things I really like. But let's set up. I think I want to come this way, and I'm gonna. I want to run these logs. I should actually grab some wood, right? So I, I want to play with this a little bit and just see what kind of what fun things we can build out of this. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna build a, <laughs> I would say, a boring Minecraft house, but let's. Uh, Oops, that's not where that goes. Also, where that goes? Nope, not at all. Yeah, these sunflowers are in the way. Boy, this was... This was a pretty amazing area for... Uh, all the, the flowery goodness. Alright. Got it, we got it. Yeah, see, that's the other thing. These, uh... These leaves, these cherry blossom leaves, are going to be great for <laughs> anyone who wants to add some bushes to your life. Uh, oh, yeah. All sorts of fun stuff there. So, so basically, I want to start here with the these. Yeah, so we're going to start with the cherry logs, and let's do a little bit here. I'm going to bring up... Oh, I don't know. That I didn't count this. This is probably wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's try this again and actually see count the blocks rather than just sort of guessing. <laughs> right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, we're good. We're good. Oh man. Yeah, see, I'm not a huge fan of the pink. Just just in general. Pink is not my favorite color in the world. But combined with some of these... Right, if, if I take these... Uh, yes, that's, that's cool. All right. That was less cool. But that's okay. I'm going to put a floor there anyway, so. I see. I've always liked this combination of pink and black. Okay, that thump you heard was the sniffer. But I bet this guy is still way the heck up here. Where'd you go? Yeah, see, there he is. And yeah, you can find the, you can hear that from a long way off. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised. Okay. That was not a happy sound. Okay, now there was that, but okay. <laughs> I should actually uh, beam a sniffer over here just so we can have him wandering around. Ooh, actually, that would be kind of fun. Let's, um, let's see. Let's grab a sniffer egg. And again, just a reminder of what else is is in this setup, right? In 1.20. We also have camels, right? All right, so we've got camels. Yes, this is the update of, of animals sounding like they have gas. That's right, this is the animals with gas update. They haven't announced that officially, but I'm fairly certain animals with gas update. Uh, yeah, that that's what this is going to be. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so let's start with that. Now, I think I'm going to want to bring this up a little higher. All right. And we'll bring these logs up this way a little bit. Now, because, okay. Sorry if this is a little loud. Let's, uh, option sound. I don't have this install tuned for audio like I do my 
other worlds, so. I was just sort of guessing when, where I was at with the sound levels. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, so we've got this. Let's stop that. Bamboo. And I think I want to grab some of this bamboo mosaic. Right now. Oh, actually, you know what looked really good with this though? What looked really good with the pink was the was the green. Right? Yeah, let's do it this way. Do it that no. No, I mean, this way it does look like planks, right, for the floor. So if I were to come in then with actual planks, or maybe with the mosaic. Hmm. Now, let's just start with, with a little bit of just the mosaic. I'm just going to line this. Okay, I'm not going to get too crazy here. I may do a little bit more with this floor. In fact, I know I'm going to do some more with the floor. Now, the, the one thing with the bamboo is it is very, it, very yellow, right? Now, I think, I think, though, there's a... I don't know, maybe, no, sandstone's a lot paler, a lot paler. I thought there was another color a little bit closer to that yellow, but there really isn't. Uh, the end stone is, is really pale, so, okay. All right, all right, you know, ooh, some amethyst maybe? I can, I can lean into some amethyst, but let's take, ooh, let's take some of these stripes. What I'm going to do, we'll run some stripes. Oh, this is going to look cool. Oh, there he goes. Plop down on all, right, just flops all six legs out. Oh, there he goes. They make some weird sounds, man. Okay, anyway. I'm just going to... Uh, let's just bring this this way. Yeah, that'll go that way. And let's... Yeah. We'll go ahead and... Now that's interesting. Um, all right, well, that's fine. We'll go with that. Let's grab some of this uh, bamboo. And what I want to do here is, I think I want to... Ah, I'm missing all of my mods. <laughs> right, because I use Tweakaroo and stuff for various things and no I don't actually don't like that yeah let's go ahead and just stand it up and I'm missing those but that's okay that is okay let's grab a door it sounded like a doorbell all right well, okay anyway um Actually, I'm not entirely sure. Let's come back over here for a minute. And let's take a look at this with the amethyst, right? Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad, uh, depending on what you're wanting to do with it. Okay. Oh, I wonder. Um... Like, there's all sorts of red blocks, right? Like, you've got the red concrete. I mean, this is going to look horrible, isn't it? 
it doesn't. <laughs> it, I I kind of expected that to look bad, but no, oh, that kind of works. All right, I can live with that. So let's take this uh, let's take this bamboo out. Actually, I may take that out too. Let's come in here with the concrete. All right, we'll take a little bit of red concrete and let's grab some black stone. All right, and we'll grab some some bricks. I don't know. I don't know if I want to grab some brick stairs or the polished or even some wall, which is a possibility as well. Let's let's just get the uh, polished bricks. Okay, and I'm going to bring this across like this. Okay. Okay, really? Yep, that. Oh, it wasn't him. Must have been the other one. Yeah, man, you can hear those guys belly flop from quite a ways, man. So let this be a lesson. If you want to have sniffers around, maybe don't put them too close to your base or you're going to hear them flopping around all day. Oh. Let's take this red out. I mean, the red is... That's fine. I just don't want it there. Um, let's try a honey block. What does the honey look like next to this? I mean, it looks... Looks yellow. But... but Obviously, with the pink behind it, doesn't make a huge amount of difference, but. Interesting. Let me play with that a little bit. Oh, 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 that's right. I've got frog lights. Let's grab some of these pearlescent frog lights. Actually, what would look good here, too? Okay, those are a little purple. Um. All right, let's go ahead and just grab some of these because I want to see. I want to see a couple of things. <laughs> All right. See, the green is looking really nice. Come here, just pop up. I want it to go that way. Thank you. All right. So. Let's take a look at this trap door because the, the ch cherry trap doors. Right there, another one of those types. Let's do it. No. Ah, there we go. Interesting. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that's a good look. The other look I want to see is... Oh, that's nice. If I throw a little ochre frog light action behind that. Oh, that's going to look cool. Oh, that's going to look so cool. All right, so let's uh, come over here. Bring this up. Now, unfortunately... Actually, let's do it this way. We'll go ahead and bring this up. Now, now, I will never claim to have the artistic eye of a pearlescent moon, but this is, this is looking kind of cool. I want to, I think I do want a splash of color there. Ooh, what if I take the cherry wood? and put it not there 
Let's put the cherry wood on top of the door. Okay, like that. Now, whew, that, that might be a little dark. Just saying, just saying, that might be a little dark. I'll have to, oh, but what might look really good there is some, uh, some bamboo. Oh, see, yeah, that's not bad. Let's grab um, a little bit of blackstone here. We'll get, yeah, get some polished blackstone in. Ooh. I mean, I'd like the look, but it's a little bit too uh, invisible. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I do kind of want to put a little something there, but let's... Let's do this. Let's get the honey blocks in here. Damn, these guys are loud. Yeah, I'll do two. That's a, that'll work. All right, and let's get our ochre. There it is, our ochre frog lights back here behind it. All right, so we'll get the honey in place. Oops. And again, again, we'll get the frog lights behind it. And obviously, this is a building without in an interior, which are the best kind of buildings because I am so bad at interiors. Hmm. I wonder, a little... If I come this way, a little patio and I'm not entirely sold on how that's laying out but we'll go with it um okay I don't know what's up with my cat but he's definitely having himself a day all right, let's grab some bamboo strips here. I think what I want to do is I want to lay these this way. And then lay these this way. See, so this is the one really cool thing about bamboo is you can get some really slick uh, patterns and stuff here. Oh, man. So what are y'all excited about with this update, right? Are you excited about the camels? I don't know where the camel just disappeared to. Um, it wandered off, you know. They do that. Excited about the camels? Are you excited about the sniffer? Excited about the torch flowers? I forgot who I was watching. Um, may have been Ray's works. He said, you know, Mojang really missed the boat by not having these things glow. You call them torch flowers. That's maybe they should, you know, be more torch like. You know, it's a possibility. Distinct possibility. All right, let's grab some of this black stone and I'm gonna come no. Let's grab some of this wood. Alright, and I wanna run this wood across the top here like this. All right. Ooh, I think I like how this is shaping up. Now, yeah, and this isn't going to be anything crazy. I only have a couple of hours, but oh, I think this can look really, really cool. So I'm not going to be doing any terraforming or anything like that around here, but let's go ahead and just bring this out across this way see I'm I'm not an explorer right I mentioned at the beginning of the stream archaeology is not my jam okay find something there dude okay 
Now, archaeology is not my jam, right? So I'm not going to be out there hunting for rare artifacts and the like. But I really like, um, I like building. Okay. Now, I said I'm not a, building is not my strongest suit in the world, but I really do enjoy it. And go ahead and bring this that way. And I think what I'm going to do is I want to repeat those windows. Because I'm going to go ahead and put these in here like this. Oh, it's even. It's even. I'm sure I have people who are screaming, what are, what's wrong with you? I kind of wish I had, I'd be able to have shaders on here, but. Hmm. Oh, you know what might be good here? So let's grab some of the planks. Instead of the logs. Oh, no, no, even better. Even better. Um, no. So what I was thinking, actually, would be uh, having the, the window in the middle and having those as curtains. Yes, the snapshot is out. This, is, this one came out yesterday. Yep, so this is the latest, latest snapshot. It's got the cherry wood. It's got the sniffer yep there he is in all his glory hi he does sound a little bit like an upset stomach not gonna lie yeah i know it probably hurt his feelings but no seriously you sound like my stomach after too much taco bell okay i <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> yeah, definitely check it out because it is, uh, it's actually really cool. All right, but I suppose I could extend this out one more block. So I have an odd number of things here, but. Oh, ooh, actually, this might be cool. So let's. I'm going to extend this out one more block just because. Uh, Got it. Breaking the Minecraft designer law of having an even number of blocks. Okay, it's not really. It's, it's more a guideline than a, a any sort of actual rule, but. You know, still. Somewhere there's a, a builder who's just flipping out because there's an odd number of blocks on a build. That creeper over there is just uh, having a grand old time. Yeah, how you doing, man? Here. Are you lonely? Apparently not. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get these, uh, all these bricks back in place. And I should probably, it's not that important because again, this is a building without an interior, but. Oh, interiors are the worst, man. I don't know about you. I have the hardest time with interiors. I mean. I know there are some of you out there who are like, oh, interiors, best thing ever. Man, I am so bad with interiors. All right, we'll do that. That's That adds a little bit of a pattern, I guess. Oh, except I put this in the wrong place. It's like, why is this looking wrong? Well, that would be why. I had it, uh, I had it in the wrong place. All right, fine. 
Okay, so that's going to go there. I was actually just thinking what might be cool. Um, because I know it would be cool. Would be, let's grab some crimson trapdoors. Right. And I do not need the pottery. I may, I'll leave that decorated pot around for a minute. Okay. Nice. And so now what I could do... I mean, without the framing of the trap doors, that just looks a little bit messed up. <laughs> but the the crimson trap doors on this looks really nice. Um... Let's grab some glass, and I think what I want to get, I don't want to get too, I don't want to get pink glass, right? Because pink glass is going to be a little bit too, uh, it's going to blend in a little too much. So I think what I want to do is let's grab some lime green, I think. Lime green may work. Um, Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep, there he is. And this is what they do, right? They plop down, they sniff around, and they find, theoretically, they sometimes fly, find, yeah, there it is, your, uh, your seeds. So, cool. Now, apparently, there's some other seeds potentially coming out, but I don't know what they are, so I don't like that glass. Actually, you know what I want to do? Let's grab some glass. Let's actually get some gray stained glass. Okay. Now, got some, some gray stained glass, and let's take some ochre frog lights maybe behind it. Let's see, ochre or maybe the green, but... Yeah, the ochre is going to work. It gives sort of that warm feeling. Similar to what's happening here. These are just... This is just a larger window. Okay. Oh, speaking of larger windows, just for those of you who like creative, um, they broke out all of the paintings. So you can just come out. I want... Give me the fighters and boom. Right? Here's, I want the fighters painting. And, um, of course, this is a uh, four by two painting, but, you know, it'll just, it'll just go, right? I just slap this down. Boom. There we go. Now everybody's kung fu fighting. So, yeah, that's, that's actually kind of cool being able to just, uh, Grab the painting you want. So if you're doing a lot of uh, creative stuff, that's going to be super useful. All right. They've also added some stuff. I'm not entirely sure how to deal with it. Um, oops, that was not what I needed. They've added some stuff to to help map makers. Just summon in blocks of various sizes. And I don't know how any of that works. But I think Exumavoid did a video playing with those different blocks and stuff. And basically it allows you to set up just sort of blocks of varying sizes. Just sort of floating out in your world. Uh, which was really cool. Including things like text and stuff, right? There are a lot of mods that let you slap uh, text and other things around. Right? For banners and announcements and stuff. Well, they're adding it native to to Minecraft with the 1.20 update. All right. 
I don't know that I like this bamboo here, but I kind of felt like I needed to add a little bit of bamboo just to play with all of the new blocks and and such, you know? Yeah, I was I was chatting in a in Discord. Uh, I was chatting a little bit the other day and because we we're talking about the new cherry blossoms and stuff and it really feels like there's a you look at the blocks there's a real asian flair to these blocks right you've got cherry blossoms which are not unique to like japan but japan is well known for their cherry blossoms and stuff so are parts of the united states washington dc for example i think even washington state um but there are cherry blossom festivals and stuff all over Tokyo, as I recall. Ooh, that's a... Uh, that's not good. I'll finish the... I'll talk about that here in just a minute. But, um, but then you've got the bamboo, which is a whole Chinese thing. And yeah, very Asian. Now, camels less so, but... Look at this here. Let me clear my hand here. Look at how the, look at the block textures here. This bugs me because it looks like there's shading on one side of the trap door. And so you flip the trap door over and now it looks off center. It's not, right? You can see those white little dots. They all line up. But those shutters look crooked. All right, and I that's not not super thrilled with that. Hopefully they'll that's something they'll update the texture here a little bit. But if I go that way, yeah, see that's going to line up a little bit better. Ah, uh, but then I try to flip them over. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's just not, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Of course, the, uh, of course now I'm thinking I don't want those there at all. I think I want to do, I want to do these. Okay. But let's take this cherry trap door. Oh, see, now that's not too bad. It's a little dark because of the stairs right no that's just a dark texture oh that's odd let's grab a um, i don't know let's grab a lantern oops l a n there we go let's grab a lantern and wow that's just uh That's a really odd, I don't know if that's a lighting artifact. Cause remember this is still, this is still beta. This is a snapshot, but look at how dark that trap door is. Ha, huh. because when you, right, you can see out here, let me grab a, the, a door. Uh, on this side, there we go. Right, the trap door and the door should be the same color, right? But you look at that, that's looking really dark. Take that out. Yeah, it's still, there's still a weird, I wonder, is there, is it? Huh. I mean, those look like the same color here, but boy, you place it there like that. And it gets, it gets really dark. It's not, that's not great. That's not great at all. I do want to, I think I'm going to place the door here on that block. And... 
again, this is a building without an interior. So I'm just going to, uh, ooh, looks like I need to do the same thing down here. See, I just want this house to glow from the outside. But that is just, that artifact, right? I'm not sure it's even an artifact, but the the way that looks, that's really annoying. However, the honey block behind the door looks cool. Okay, really? The llamas I don't care about. You have... Doesn't seem like anything cool there, so... All right. Fun. Um, where that sniffer disappeared to? Oh, there he is. It's over there. I said the camel just meandered off. It's gone. It's... It's just, just disappeared somewhere. Right, you hear how loud that thing is? I'm not going to stop commenting on it, apparently. Because the... Uh, yeah, it's all the way over here. Yeah, it does... It sounds like the sniffer should be a little quieter. But, all right. No, that's fine. It's... Uh, Trying to, trying to decide if I want to, if there's a color I want here. The other thing I want to try, a couple of things, is and rods, of course, which are always cool. Um, these are going to look stupid, but I want to try them anyway. I just want to see what it looks like. Yeah, those are the wrong color, but it's a sort of an interesting uh, thing. But yeah, they're the wrong color. Ah. But what I can do is, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and put those there. Yeah, I like that in the, the corners. Okay. Yeah, th that's just going to... That just adds a nice little texture to it, you know? All right. Nice. Now... said I'm not totally in love with this floor, but we'll deal with it. So what should I do for a roof? Now, roofing has never been my favorite pastime in Minecraft. Um, because it's just, it's just tedious. That That's what it is. It's just tedious. But I do want to bring up, bring up a little bit this way. So I think I do want a slight angle coming down off of this. But I also think I need a different, um, I think I need a different material. Also, I should probably finish the back of the house too. This isn't Hermitcraft. I actually should probably fill my. Uh, finish the backs of my builds, right? Okay, that was that was probably a uh, an unkind dig at some very talented people. All right, but uh, yeah, 
do kind of like this. Now do that and let's do this. All right, so we'll we'll slap that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same honey here and let's do let's do a little something here. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just bring the black stone down like that. No, I don't like that. I could just bring the logs down there like this too. Okay. Bring this. Yeah, there's some so there's just some really weird um uh, weird aspects to this. Right? I I just don't quite get this uh what's happening here, but hopefully that's something they'll fix, but that is really odd. Alright. Anyway, what what should I do for the the roof, right? I mean, I could do more... I could do some more blackstone, but I think that's going to be a little too much. I kind of like it being just... Uh, I don't know. I like it just being the accent here. So, let's... Let's take a look at our building blocks. Now... I mean, I could... All right, I have a, I'm fairly certain the mangrove is not going to look good with this. Yeah, see, I think that's, yeah, I think the mangrove is just too, um, yeah, it's just, it's just too wrong. It clashes a little bit. It's the problem with reds, right? You get the wrong reds together, and they they fight. Um, now, oh, now this might be an interesting combination. So, what if I were to put the right? Because look at this. Or actually, maybe better yet, let's come over here, right? Because the teal, and we're getting we're getting a lot of teal. Right, we've already got a lot of teal from all of the stuff, but the teal is not bad. Right, so if I bring this out that way. Okay. Well, actually, yeah, that could be. Right? Is that? No, that's not. I kind of want this to be out like this. The catch is I'd have to drop another slab. Man, it feels sounds like that sniffer is like right on top of me. Okay. Anyway, um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think what I'm going to have to do is... can't say I'm entirely surprised, but let's go ahead and move this out. Are those lining up? Yeah. Okay. The texture on this is cool, but like any of the woods, you got to be careful with it. Oh, I'm curious. Let's take a look at, if you were to checkerboard this, right? Okay, so that goes this way. And then if I go like that, no. See, that's one of the cool things like with, with some of the woods is if you checkerboard them, you end up with a, a really cool pattern. And this is one of the trees like jungle where the uh Ooh. hang on hang on hang on i gotta 
Let's see. Maybe with the stem. Hang on. I got to play with something here first. All right. Oh, the color is just a little bit off. Just a little bit, right? But, oh man, if the, the I mean, it's nice that the shade's a little, is close, but it's not quite there, right? Crimson. Okay. Yeah, and obviously the, now the crimson, the color of the, the wood actually mat blends in and matches nicely with the, the cherry, but the red stripes don't so much. Meanwhile, the warped, the colors of the, of the actual wood in the warped doesn't actually I guess they're the same colors as the crimson but I don't know they look lighter that could just be you know that there's an optical illusion you get you can have two identical colors but depending on the colors around them they look different that could be kind of what I'm seeing here but That's sort of an interesting pattern. Anyway, back to the build. Um, I didn't move this out. Darn it. <laughs> that was the whole point of this, is I was going to move this out a block. All right. Now again, I'm not I'm not entirely sold on the bamboo, but All right. So, we're just going to Oh, right. That's the at the mosaic goes there. Those stripes go there, there, and there. All right, just gives it a little bit of a texture. Okay, and then let's go ahead and get back to our blocks here. Okay. Now, in theory, I should be able to come this way. All right, so that'll go there. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Now, I want to, okay, close, very, very close. Um, I actually want it to come up like that. I mean, I could do it like that. But honestly, I, I almost feel like that's too steep, right? Because I do kind of want this to come out like that. But I don't know. Because if this comes out that way, this would come out here like this. Hmm. All right, let, let's clear out some of that. So that's going to go that way. What if I were to... Oh, let's grab some stairs. Yeah. Oh, that's dark prismary. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so let's... Take some stairs here, like this. Oops, no. I can do this. Well, that's just not right.
Okay, that'll work. Actually, I probably want this to step slap out just here a little bit more, but kind of like that. And then I could put in... Right, so that, that stair goes there, am I? Yeah. Stair goes there like that. So now, coming off this side, see how where this is going to meet in the middle, but... Okay. All right, so now, three. So kind of like this. All right, because this looks like it's going to come upstairs. Oops. Not that way, kind of like that. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Yeah, I can make that work. All right. So let's go ahead and bring this all the way across here. Yeah. Now a, a chimney or something might be good here too, but... I don't know. We'll see, but I'm I'm really liking what I can do here with the pallet. Um, again, this is not my typical uh, typical colors, right? So pink is not my jam. But I think I should want to come in there with a little bit of uh, maybe a little dark prismarine there and break that up a little bit. Uh -huh. Ooh, come on. But as a as a color here to sort of to add said so to add to your palette to be able to uh, just do cool things with that's that's not bad. Now, I think what I want to do is let's go ahead and... Do I want to put stairs or do I want to put slabs? I think I'm going to put slabs. I just need a little something under there because that block is a little bit too... Uh, too abrupt. All right. Yeah, we'll just bring a little bit of... Actually, maybe what I should do is grab a little moss. Because some, some moss here might be good, too. So that's, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and finish this roof. Not that way. Oh, the other thing, because what I have not added to this, uh, partly because I'm just not doing an interior, is uh, I've got all the new bookshelves. Right, because you've got the new bookshelves. They um, are really cool because you can hook them up with hoppers and the hoppers will feed books into the bookshelf, which is cool. So you could load up a barrel or something with a hopper feeding into a bookshelf. So you get um, all of those cool... So basically get a, a self-filling bookshelf. Boy, that sounds like me flopping on the couch, digging into a bag of chips. That The, the sniffer definitely has some uh, couch potato vibes going for him. You know what I mean?
All right. Cool. So we'll just uh, lay all of this out here. Grab some water because water is amazing. I think I'm going to want a little bit of something here. Oops, that's the wrong block. I think I'm going to want a little bit of something in these gaps, but I'm not entirely sure what. Also, I'm intentionally not building off to the side. You know, that's it's a fairly common trope, I guess, to uh, have it overhang on the sides as well. Which, you know, kind of looks cool. You know, it, it gives the impression of what you might have with your regular house or something, but... Houses don't typically have eaves that stick out, you know, a full meter out on the side of the house. You know, they'll hang out, I don't know, maybe a third of a meter. Maybe just a, uh, I don't know, just a few inches if you're wanting to go that way. But, okay. Yeah, I do like the idea of filling that in. But I want a I want a little bit of something here. And I could Right, I could come in with some deep slate or deep slate, this blackstone. Right, sort of coming in there like that. But it, and the blackstone said looks really good with the cherry. But I think I want to, oh, hey, maybe let's do this. Let's run the black stone back behind it. Okay. Oh, right, because the slabs. Okay. No, that's fine. Uh, but, because, yeah, I could do that. But I want to put a little bit of something here, so... What I could do is I could take these cherry trap doors, right, and just run them like that. And that's not bad. It's not bad. I could. That kind of works for me. All right. Let's do this on the other side, too. All right. So we'll just uh, swing that in like this. Just like that, and with the cherry trap doors. Oh man. Yep, there he goes again. It's found the Doritos, guys. Everyone run for your lives. Alright. Alright. Yeah, I don't know what's down there, but cool anyway so yeah so that's not too bad I kind of feel like let's um oh I know let's set up some scaffolding okay we'll just grab a little scaffolding now All right, we'll just set up a little scaffolding under here, and... Ooh, yeah. Take that. Now let's grab some... Bamboo. I'm gonna grab a, some bamboo trap doors right here. And I may want to change this floor out. I need a sword. This is just painful. Seriously, that, that kind of just hurt. Let's, uh... Alright. Grab ourselves a... Let's grab another right axe. Yeah, you too. And same. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. That's that's taken care of. All right, so now we're gonna grab this bamboo trap door and it's gonna slide in under here like that. Now, let's get ourselves some, fl some flower pots, All right? We'll grab a nice flower pot here. Okay. We'll throw some, some flower pots in there. Let's take our torch, our torch flower. Honestly, that looks a little bit like the Audrey 2, and I'm not sure I'm okay with it. And let's grab a cherry blossom. All right. And we'll... No, the cherry blossoms are going to... Okay, that's going to go there, there, there. Do I still have that pot? I do. Okay, and we, sure, we'll do it that way. And let's now take some bookshelves. And let's take some, all right, we're gonna take some chiseled bookshelves and some regular bookshelves. Um, yeah, because it's, it's kind of nice to have a few bookshelves, you know, outside, right? Yeah, just a, just a few, just kind of, I don't know if I want to, if I want to do it that way. Oh. Take this out. Here's a better idea. What if we were to layer these like that? Ooh, yes, yes, yes. And I think I need to dial back the noise here. Okay, let's go and dial this back. Oh yeah, I like what this is. Yeah, I like where this is going, okay. And what to do with the floor? I think, in all honesty, um, let's grab just some stripped, yeah, we'll grab some stripped uh, warped hyphae here. And, okay, and I'm, Seriously, I'm just going to checkerboard this. Okay. Is it... You know, it's just going to give an, a little bit of... Just a little bit of fun emphasis here. Okay. Ooh, that's... See, that's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Okay, sort of feel like I need a... Kind of feels like I need a railing of some sort here. Let's take those bookshelves off. Let's grab some... Ooh, what about a, a lectern? Okay, let's grab some lecterns and... Right? Yeah, I kind of like the books on the inside there like that. And then we'll just uh Can I just go like that? Um No, I don't like that at all. I do not like that. Oh, but what I could do, 
Ah, this this would probably even be better. Is let's grab some cherry fence and fence gate and some wall. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is wall. Oh, right. Um, right, those don't link up. How did I do that before? Oh, right. No, no, no. This is fine. Yeah, no, this is good. I just forgot. It's not a fence. It's all gates. Right? So... Yeah, so we'll just do. Oh, that's right in front. Yeah, that's fine. No, I'll just set this like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that looks cheesy. <laughs> that looks really cheesy. Okay. No, but we'll, I could just set this like that. That'll be warm and comforting. Now, I'm actually kind of curious. Let's see. Time set. Midnight. Okay, that's not bad. I think I want to take, take that off. And let's grab another... Let's put another flower pot over here with some. Oh, what would be good here? Corn flowers? I don't know. Where did they put all the flowers? I think they're all over. They've they've changed the menus around here a little bit, so it's. But I do like. Actually, maybe a blue orchid. Blue orchid might be good. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. Almost want to put a light up there in the attic, but... No, I think we're... I think we're good here, so... Oh, this is this actually looks really good here at night. Um, I said that this trap door right here has a really odd color going for it, but I like that. I like that. So we get a let's get a couple of pictures and then let's set time to yeah. Day is good. Yeah. And we'll get a couple of good good shots here of the Yeah. Just so we can get a little little detail here. And I could totally do more. If I wanted to, um I could do a lot more with the the texture of this during the day, or at least on the roof, is I could take some uh, prismarine, right, and just uh, deal with that. But okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not. Totally thrilled with what's happening here in the back of this, but I could come back here like this and let's get the stairs. So, not stairs. All right. And I could just bring these stairs out this way, but. This really feels like it's sticking out way too much. It 
just I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I If you've got some suggestions, feel free to shout them out, but I may just come back here with the old uh stair action. It's a little steeper than out front. But I kind of like that a little bit. Hmm. I don't, though. I mean, I like what it does on the side of the house, but I don't like how it... how different it is from the rest of the place, you know? Yeah, because that's the stair. This should be... Yeah, because if I'm going here... Yeah, just not super thrilled with this. I guess maybe what I could do is drop this down one layer. We'll come down here. Yeah, see, that's a little bit better. It's not quite as... Uh, not quite as crazy. Still a little bit lower, but oops. let's try that again, this time with feeling. All right, now. <laughs> what do you think? Should we drop a sniffer in front of this thing? That could be fun. So let's grab a sniffer egg. I haven't heard it flop around for a while, so that's probably a... Okay. Hey, how's it going, man? Yeah, let's, uh... <laughs> They do look really silly when they walk. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. Yeah, see, so you can see the the pink gives you all sorts of good good things to do and I really like this uh It doesn't quite go with the the yellow of the bamboo but that's not bad okay I don't know that I needed to see the inside of a sniffer but I actually kind of the inside of a snicker sniffer looks kind of gross right it kind of it kind of looks like the inside of somebody's body it's just all kind of <laughs> red and gross okay of course I had to get a, a screenshot of it because of course I did yeah yeah this is this is kind of nice I could even put some uh, end rods here but I think it's good I mean I think it's good. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so that's the... That's it. And, of course, when you're looking at... When you look at everything that's coming in 1.20, we've got two new wood types, right? Because we've got the cherry and the bamboo. Um, we've got the chiseled bookshelves, right? These guys. Right? We've got some... Our, our chiseled bookshelves. All right, we've got camels. We've got, oh, we've got hanging signs. I didn't even pull those out, right? But, right, you can just take your, I don't know. One of these needs to go away. Right, you've got your hanging sign. I could. Right, I could. Oh, I can't hang it off any of those blocks because of the. Right. Now I did. I, I should have gone back to look at. I had problems getting back into to my uh, previous snapshot world. 
But you can do some cool things with uh, signs as windows. Right? You could take... You can come up sort of something like this and then drop a sign like that. Now you've got this cool little, uh, it's just a cool little window, right? You don't want to do it hanging like that. Okay. Hello again. But if you have it hang in there like that, that just gives you a nice little, some nice little shutters, curtains or you know, blinds hanging down. Looks really cool. Yeah, stuff. Cool. You didn't... Sorry, guys. You picked the wrong place to meander into. Alright. Yeah. I, I hope that's something they fix before the the release because man you can hear the sniffer from forever and I'm not totally sure I'm happy with that <laughs> alright that's not right what do they call these things Those, these happy little uh, pink petals alright that's fair the fact they called them pink petals kind of makes me wonder if they're going to have other petals. Right? I don't think you can put the petals in a pot. No. Petals are not pot material. Right? But we can just sort of throw some... Uh... Yeah, they smell great, don't they, Sniffer? Why don't we just throw some petals around the outside here? You know, just a... Yeah, just a little bit of... the petally goodness, right? It could be fun just sort of working around a, a path, even. Because that would look really cool, actually, lining a path with those petals. But, okay. Cool. So, sweet. I'm... I like this. Yeah, I like how the... I mean, I don't like the what's happening with the trap door here. But... As a, as an extension of the palette, right? As an extension of the block palette, this is really nice. There's been a lot of call for more pastels. I'd like to see more greens and more blues. We've got teal, which is okay, but I'd like to see some actual blues and some actual greens in, in some form of stone or stair variant, uh, stone or wood variant, something that gives us stairs and slabs and all of the good stuff, right? So, yeah. I think there's, uh, there's some good things here. But, I think that is going to do it for me today. This is, uh, this was, this was really fun, playing with the, the cherry wood and Checking out the new block palettes and there's some of the new, just some of the new stuff, right? With the when the uh, when they first announced the update, says, oh here's camels and bamboo wood. I was out there, I played with all that. I played with the uh, bookshelves and stuff. Very cool. It's great now to be able to sit and play with the bamboo and see what or the bamboo, the cherry wood, and just play with the pinks. And I like this sort of maroon almost color for the, the cherry logs. It looks really cool. It looks really cool. So, um, yeah, so I think we'll go ahead and call it here. Uh, don't forget to follow me on the socials um, at Instagram, 
on TikTok at Music Free Gaming. There's the Discord server code. Um, you can also follow me over on Kofi at ko-fi.com slash Music Free Gaming. Um, you can also subscribe there for exclusive uh, subscriber-only content. So be sure to check that action out. Uh, it also helps support me and provide more uh, cool stuff going on here too. So check that out. And if you haven't already, like the, the video, subscribe to the channel, you know, smash that bell, right? That's how that works. Smash the notification bell. I think that's, I think that's how that's supposed to be said, right? Is that the, the right way? Whatever. Anyway, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And the next stream will be Tuesday, uh, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So uh, be sure to, to uh, set your sundials appropriately. And until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music for Gaming signing off.